come out of um, an uh, aspiring mathematicians programme lesson where we've been looking at uh, how to compile documents um, involving equations more effectively using some different software called LaTeX. Um, for a lot of university students would know what this is, um, but at sixth form level it's quite unusual. Uh, but I thought it was something that our kids would enjoy with a link across to computer science uh, because it's more of a code and compile sort of system. But also uh, to help them when it comes to writing their research projects moving into the new year, which they're well underway with now um, for physics. So it works quite differently LaTeX. You know, you're looking at a screen and rather than just being able to see what your document's going to look like, um, you have to give it certain commands uh, to tell it to compile in a particular way. And it was our first lesson on it, so I've been really impressed that um, a lot of the students, in fact, pretty much all of them, were able to use it and get into a new way of working and get um, a really nice looking documents. Um, and I've seen quite a bit of excitement in there, so that was a, a, always a plus afterwards. So how you would actually see this work is if you've done this right, uh, which I know I have this time after having edited it quite a lot, I'll just press the little go button and um, when this decides it wants to work, it should pop up any second. Uh, but in something like Word, you uh, can see exactly what your document looks like as you create it. And the advantage of that is that you make uh, changes to it and edits as you go along. The disadvantage is that you've got two different types of things to think about. Um, you've not just got your content and what you're actually creating the document for and its purpose, um, but it's format that you need to be thinking about on an ongoing basis. Uh, LaTeX works in a very different way. It works by allowing you um, to give the console some instructions for how you want it to create your document. And in doing so, it allows you to focus on the content above the formatting. Now, what happens is um, you issue commands to it, such as uh, what sort of document you want, um, whether you want a title page and what that title will be and what font you want it to work in and what text size and whether it's bold or whether you want a list and the, it's endless, the possibility. Isn't it so nice? It's nice. It's a piece of work. I've never done it.